Hello world, this is Ranifix and today I'm going to show you guys what an eccentric shaft sensor looks like and I'm going to go ahead and open this up for you guys as well, so follow along. This is one I just took out of this 2008 BMW 528i and as you can see it's completely covered in oil. It does sit inside the valve cover. The top of it does have oil as well. So oil has been making it inside of here and this is something that may need to get a replace on your vehicle. I'm going to show you where it's located. Just because if you're a little curious, you'd want to see this. You're going to have to remove the whole valve cover. And when you remove the valve cover, this sits in here just like this. And it's got three 10 millimeter bolts that actually hold it in place. And this is not a real easy job, but it can be done. I have a video on it. If you guys want to check the link below. But I just want to show you guys this. And there's not any moving parts in here. So, just a little sensor like this can cause big problems for your car. And this is a very expensive piece. And do not try to get a knockoff. The, if you do want to get a knockoff, the only one that I recommend is going to be Video. Uh, these guys make really great aftermarket products. A lot of times they're the original manufacturer, but they're just branded a different way. But this is it right here. And I'm going to do a breakdown a little bit later to show you guys what's inside. But this guy can cause you all kinds of problems. And I'll have any related videos in the description box below. This is the old one I just removed from this car. And it's going to be located in the valve cover right here. And it goes in that slot right there. So what happens is the seal eventually can leak. But that's not really the, the problem. This actually starts shorting out and breaking on the internal side. But whenever you're replacing this sensor, you want to make sure you replace this seal. Because if the seal is not good, what will happen is the oil will come and get into the connector and onto the plug. And I'm going to go ahead and take it apart for you guys. But I just want to show you guys really quick where this fits. So if you're looking at the front of your valve cover, right? This is going to be the front side right here. And it fits just like that. That's all apart. Let's go ahead and see what's inside and uh, what could possibly cause this to break down since it doesn't have any moving components. I'm going to see if I can find out where mine broke. You can see mine's completely covered in oil. And I might have to remove some of the sludge, see if I can find a hairline crack or something on here. Because this was not fun to get to. And this piece can somewhat be expensive and don't buy cheap knockoffs. You will be redoing this job and not happy. Alright, so I went ahead and cleaned this with some brake cleaner here. And did the best I could. Do want to spend $5 on brake cleaner just for an old part that I'm not going to be able to ever use it for anything. But when you look inside, there's no visible cracks anywhere and the only place that I think that any oil could get into would be around this piece right here that's the only thing that looks like there's an opening here in these two little dots but my codes are gone once I replace this I just cleared them and never popped back up when this unit was in there I don't even have to even drive it for the coast just to reset. They would just be present. As soon as I cleared them, they would come up without even starting the vehicle. So let's see if we can see some cracks by twisting this now. And don't do this with your unit if you're planning on reusing it. No cracks. Let me check the back side. No cracks here. Nothing there. This plastic is so brittle though. It's just coming right off.
All right, well, the plastic is really brittle on this, but I was able to crack it open. There's some contacts that are running north to the plug side. There it is. And there's oil right there on that contact. So, yep, there is oil on the inside of this. If you look inside, right there, there's oil there. This was completely bone dry. There was no oil when I was first handling this. So it looks like oil somehow seeped in here, most likely through the seal right here. There it is. So if you didn't know what the eccentric shaft sensor was and what it actually looked like on the inside, here it is. I don't think there's anything you can do to prevent this from breaking down, but I think uh, doing your oil changes a little bit more often than what is specified by BMW would be a big help because all the plastic was so brittle I'm sure it was getting in somehow or another I didn't really have to even put a lot of leverage on these little pliers and everything just snaps apart the plastic up top of the motor is a lot better but down here even the little brackets up here you touch it and it breaks just like that I hope this video helps you guys out Please leave your comments and your questions below and have a great day. Let me know if you guys have any comments. Hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate your continued support.